All right, good morning, guys. Uh, Bob, K6UDA from the K6UDA show and the Southern Idaho Preparedness Net. It's Saturday morning right now, and normally you would be listening to me or watching me on the Southern Idaho Preparedness Net, but you're not (laughs) because uh, my internet is out. The big internet is out. Now, I did uh, did try to do a workaround. Uh, I actually had part of it running from my uh, iPhone. But, guys, not enough bandwidth. And when I started, uh, started working on the radio side of the net, it absolutely killed the stream. So... Uh, we called it a day. We just said, screw it. Called it a day. I decided I'm going to build you guys a little the Southern Idaho Preparedness Net video. Let's do this. <laughs> so, You're going to notice up in the top screen there where uh, normally in that top left-hand corner is the Wires X node. You'll notice on the right-hand side of the screen, uh, this is my phone. So Wires X, there is no Wires X machine there to hook up. The OpenSpot 4 software running on the right side of the screen, this is is my open spot for um, everything is controlled either from the phone or on my uh, on my desktop browser I'm gonna give you guys the quickie quickie tour I ended the stream early Uh, I had a couple of guys text me and say it was just unbearable couldn't even uh, couldn't even listen to it. The audio stream kept cutting out. The video stream kept buffering. So we ended it. We're gonna do this one again next week, uh, next Saturday. We're gonna do the uh, uh, using the YSF room five six zero two six to get into YouTubers and get onto the net. If you, uh, if you have a different kind of a radio other than a Yesu system fusion radio. So right now, um, this is my FT5. K6UDA testing uh, YSF from my C4FM radio. All right, N7RVP uh, K6UDA. Whoop, hang on here. I'm uh, doing a quick video because the net just didn't work out. (laughs) Uh, My internet went out this morning, so I was running off the hotspot and it just didn't, just didn't work. So I'm kind of trying to do a small video to uh, demo some of this stuff. In its basic mode, uh, the open spot four in hooked up to my YSF room or the YSF reflector YouTubers with my FT5 and that works just fine. That's its native deal. Uh, Let's start with a DMR radio. This is my Anytone 878 and I could key that up and it does nothing. I have this set on a simplex frequency. The frequency that I have this program to is 436.000. I have it in a mode C4FM right now. The connectors that I have set up here. Um, Right now, the modem frequency is set up to 436.000. It's in C4FM mode, which is native to the ASU radio. Let me switch views here. And now you're looking at 
all three types of radios. You're looking at the Yesu radio, my ICOM radio, and an Anytone DMR radio. If I key up any one of these radios, the green lights go on on the other two because they're all set to the same frequency. Press the D star, the other two light up. But you're gonna notice if I press one of these other two, nothing happens on the open spot. If I key up the Yesu radio, the open spot now puts my call sign out. Now, here's the fun part. We're gonna turn, oh, let's say, let's start with the Anytone 878. This is my DMR radio. I am going to now turn this radio into a Yesu radio for all intents and purposes. It's going to be able to hook up to the Yesu system fusion side of things. And what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm gonna run to connectors here. Well, actually, let me go to QS down at the bottom and please select the type of radio. I have a DMR radio. It's going to be on 436.000. And I'm going to move that down. And you see all these things that I can do. I want it to go on to a U, onto a YSF reflector. So now I'm going to connect that the act so now when it changed over it now shows a local announcement and if I key up oh, hang on. now if I key up my Yesu radio it's going to turn the green lights on the other two but you see nothing on the open spot software because right now it's a DMR radio. But if I key up the DMR radio, now all my DMR information comes out over YSF. K6UDA on YSF from a DMR radio. If we hit the QS again and we say, oh, we have a D-Star radio, we're going to be on 436.000. want to go to the YSF reflector, to YouTubers, I want to connect it. Open spot, try to connect the YSF reflector. And now the D-Star radio is set up in there. And you'll see, here's my D-Star radio on YSF. Now, you guys will notice that the green lights went on on these two because it's still on the same frequency. Now, you may be asking yourself, Bob, how the hell did this thing do all that? You never even touched it. And that's right. I didn't touch it. I didn't have to touch this. Uh, it does... Everything kind of on its own through the software. Any of the radios will work with this thing. Uh, you can get to anywhere, and it doesn't just cross mode from, say, D Star to YSF or DMR to YSF. This cross moding works from anything. Let's say I have a C4 FM radio, I have an FT5 radio like I do here, but now I want to go talk on, oh, let's say I want to go talk on D-Star. So I'm going to go over to Reflector 30 Charlie on D-Star. I'm going to connect to it. Trying to connect 
zero three zero Charlie. And it is now connected. K six UDA uh, cross moding from C four FM. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm just uh, trying out some different radios on different modes and showing cross banding. So you saw uh, running Yesu to D star. That works just fine. Yeah, let's go D star radio to DMR. Let's try that. We'll go to our QR or quick start. Go to D star. We're on 436.00. And we'll go to Brandmeister. And we're going to hook up to a server in Australia. Why not? And there we are. We're connected. K6UDA testing cross-banding uh, mode from a D-Star radio to Brandmeister. It's uh, super, super easy. And I will just run C4FM and I want to go to YSF. I'm going to connect and there it's connected it's not going to matter they can all work they can all get into using an open spot or some of the other hot spots and I'm going to be testing out a few more uh, in the coming weeks I have one coming from Bridgecom it's called a sky bridge I'm going to see what that's all about. It does cross-moding. I have always been, since they came out, a huge fan of the open spots because they are so damn simple and they work. Uh, they just work. Um, remember, today we're doing this. I, I'm doing this video, and it isn't the it isn't the Southern Idaho Preparedness Net today. Because the internet was bad. I tried to do it and it kept crashing everything. Every time the radio would go off, it would crash the live stream. So we decided uh, we're going to kill that. We're going to try it again. But I figured I owed you guys a video for this week. Wanted to really quickly explain this. We'll go into it next week on the Southern Idaho Preparedness Net. We will talk about uh, cross-banding and getting in and all the little intricacies about how to put together your open spot and get it up and running with all these different modes. So until we meet again on the next video or the Southern Idaho Preparedness Net. I invite you guys to come and use my repeater, use uh, the Idaho Command whenever you want. You could come hang out here. You could park your nodes here. You can uh, always get on YSF and get in uh, through the YouTubers. Uh, you don't have to wait for me. You don't have to worry about me. I don't care what you guys talk about. That is your business. Um, politics, religion, guns, whatever it is you want to do, um, feel free to do it on the Idaho Command. Guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Please do that. Hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, turn on those bell notifications and uh, think about possibly supporting me with a channel membership. 
Those will be available somewhere like right around in here. You could look below, hit membership, and uh, go check that out. Oh, yeah. And uh, still got some of the uh, K6 UDA challenge coins. K6 UDA on one side. The Southern Idaho Command on the others. Uh, I'm down to probably about... 15 of these things on my limited run. So uh, send me an email at K6UDA Radio. Let me know if you want one. Uh, and you could send me a PayPal payment. I'll get you one out in the mail. They are cool. Guys are sending me pictures. They are telling me they look much, much better in person. Anyway, guys, uh, that's all I've got. I'm Bob, K6UDA. I'm out of here, 7-3.